Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss what eco vectors are and also uh, look at some of the examples concerning eco vectors. Alright, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscription button and if you have any questions or you want to join my uh, online lessons that I conduct for math, physics, chemistry and biology, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen and click the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. All right, so let's look at what eco vectors are. All right, so um, two vectors are said to be equal if and only if they have the same magnitude and the same direction. So if, let's say for instance, vector A, if vector A is equal to the vector b if vector a is equal to vector b this means that the magnitude of a should be equal to the magnitude of b so the magnitude of a should be equal to the magnitude of b and apart from that the directions should uh, always be the same all right so let's quickly look at this question here so find x and y such that v We've been given that V is equal to X, U plus Y, W. So this is a very simple question. We've been given the we've been given the values of U and W and also the values of V here. So let's take for instance our first value of V is that. So I'm going to solve this one. The same I'm going to solve this. You solve this one and that one. You solve for this one and for that one. And then you submit your solutions in case you want me to check them out for you. All right, so let me use this one as my V. So if my V is 2 comma 1, this will be equal to um, X, U, so I'm going to put X there, and U is, um, where is U? U is there. So, oh, sorry, I'm repeating the same thing. Okay, so u is uh, 1, 2, and then they are saying plus y, w has been given to be uh, 1, comma, negative 1. So now, what you need to do here is to pair the corresponding terms. You put the corresponding uh, components together, uh, or you separate them according to their components. So if I take the x component there, which is this one, means that the first part there, I'll take the x component, even there, I'll take the x component. But before I do that, I think, let me first uh, open the brackets by multiplying this x through the brackets, this side, through, throughout the vectors, and y throughout this vector there. So I'm going to have my, or if I want, okay, I wanted to change them to Cartesian, but let me just solve them the way they are. So x times 1 there, I'm going to have x. x times 2, I'm going to have 2x. And say plus y times y, I have y there. y times negative y, I have negative y. So this is what we have. So now we can um, split these according to their corresponding components. So we have uh, the x component on the, on the uh, left, we have 2. The x component on this term here, we have um, x. Then we say plus the x component on this term, we have y. We do the same. So this is our equation 1. So we do the same for this, uh, the y component. So on the left, we have the x component as 1. Then on the right, we have the, x, the first x component there as 2x. Then plus the other x component, we, uh, rather the other y component that we have on the right is negative y so let me change the sign there so negative y so this is my equation 2 so now I have to solve this equation and that equation simultaneously so let me write them here properly so I have 2x minus y is equal to 1 this is my equation 2 and my equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 2 which is this one here so I can make the second, the first equation, this one, as a substitute value, meaning I'll make x the subject of the formula in this equation. So this will be 2 minus y. And then I'm going to replace it while there's x there. So I'm going to say 2. I'm going to replace it in the first equation. So I'm going to say 2, 
Then we have this x, I'm putting 2 minus uh, y. Then we say uh, minus y is equal to 1. Then we say 2 times 2, this is 4. 2 times negative y, negative 2y minus y is equal to 1. So uh, this part here will give me negative 3y. Then this will go to the other side of the equal sign so that I have 1 minus 4. So negative 3y is equal to negative 3. Divide by negative 3, divide by negative 3. The value of y is equal to what? 1. So we have managed to find the first value of y. So I mean the, the value of y there. We have managed to find the value of y. So to find the value of x, we just replace y in the substitute value. So when we replace y in the substitute value, we are going to have x as uh, 2 minus y. So we said 2 minus the value of y is 1. So the value of x is there for what? Equal to 2 minus 1 this is 1. So the value of x for the first part is 1. The value of y is also what? 1. This is what you do. Alright, so let me also help you solve um, maybe the second part of the equation. And then you do the last part there. So the second part says, uh, according to the question, we've been told that V should be equal to X, U plus uh, Y, W. So now, uh, I'm going to take my V as this one there. So my V is uh, 0, 0,3, um, 0, 0,3 being equal to X. Uh, U is um, 1,2 and was saying plus w has been given to be 1 comma 1 so uh, we can multiply the x and the y through the vector there so we have 0 comma 3 this side then we have x comma 2x then we have y comma negative y we put the like terms together so we have 0 this side is equal to, I mean the like components together. And then this side we have x and y. So we say x plus y is equal to 0. This is our equation 1. We get the second part. So we have 3 there being equal to uh, 2x plus negative y. So this is our equation 2. So having found the equation 1 and equation 2, we can make 1 as a substitute value. So I'm going to make this simple equation as a substitute value. I'm going to make x the subject of the formula. So x is therefore going to be equal to negative y. So what is x in the second equation, I'm going to replace with negative y. So I'm going to say 3 is equal to 2. What is x, I'm putting what? Negative y. And then we say plus negative y. Okay, so now we can simplify this equation. 2 times negative y, 2, negative 2y, then minus y. So when you add these, you're getting what? Uh, negative 3y. Yeah, so you're getting negative 3y. Okay. Then when you divide everything, uh, yeah, when you divide everything by, by uh, negative 3, negative 3, the value of y becomes negative 1. So now to find x, you simply just get the substitute value, which is this one here. So one that you replace in the value of y. So we say uh, x is equal to negative y. So x is equal to what is y, I'm putting negative 1. In this equation, what is y, I'm putting negative 1 because we found the value of y to be negative 1. So when you simplify this, you're getting 1 as a solution, meaning x is equal to positive 1. Alright, so this is how you're supposed to work out this question. So make sure that you solve the remaining question, which is this one, and submit as the exercise. Let me just see how you are going to handle it. So you can submit using any of these lines on the screen. Both of these lines are, are on WhatsApp. You can contact me on WhatsApp using any of these lines or on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions feel free to contact me using these same lines and click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting my name is hamted shalom shalom